A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, September 25, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be updating the forecast regarding Invest 94 and Tropical Storm Humberto, and I will go into more detail about the forecast for Invest 94, which is expected to strengthen into a tropical storm over the weekend near or over the Bahamas. By early next week, it may take a turn toward the northwest, threatening North Carolina, South Carolina, or Georgia as a hurricane. If it develops, it would be named Tropical Storm Imelda. Overnight model runs have shown a significant change that increases the risk of the southeastern United States seeing the impact of a hurricane. But before going into details about Invest 94, I briefly wanted to mention that Tropical Storm Humberto continues to organize as it moves northwest. Over the next several days, it will encounter very favorable conditions for significant strengthening. According to the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, on Saturday it should reach hurricane strength, and by Sunday night or early Monday morning it could be a Category 3 hurricane located south of Bermuda. For now, the forecast continues to show a track just east of Bermuda, which suggests they will not receive a direct impact from future Hurricane Humberto. However, it is important they remain attentive to any changes in the track and forecast. Let's now zoom into the area where Invest 94 is located. It is currently over the Dominican Republic, where this morning it has been producing heavy downpours, particularly across the eastern half of the country, and rain will continue throughout the day with a high risk of flooding. Yesterday, Puerto Rico also received a lot of rainfall, and showers are still ongoing, especially across the western part of the island. However, from midday onward, conditions are expected to improve in Puerto Rico. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, heavy rainfall is still possible across the Dominican Republic and Haiti. According to the latest projections, up to 200 millimeters, about 8 inches of rain could accumulate in the eastern Dominican Republic between today and tomorrow. If you live in a flood-prone area, please take precautions because flooding is very likely. Then, over the weekend, Invest 94 will move over the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, where it will encounter favorable conditions to strengthen into a tropical depression and then tropical storm Imelda. Along its path, it will bring heavy showers with rainfall totals of up to 200 millimeters, about 8 inches, over the weekend. Tropical storm conditions are also possible, with wind gusts of 40 to 55 miles per hour across the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. The National Hurricane Center continues to give this system a 90% chance of development as it crosses the Bahamas. So, it is very likely that Tropical Storm Imelda will develop here. The most significant change in the forecast is that model projections now show a track toward the United States. It seems more likely that it could make landfall between North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Although uncertainty remains about how strong it could be when it reaches the region, some models show a Category 2 hurricane reaching the U.S. coast. At the moment, however, the consensus is that it would arrive as a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane. For example, looking at global model projections, the American model shows a Category 1 hurricane making landfall in South Carolina on Tuesday morning, while the European model also shows a Category 1 hurricane, but making landfall Monday night. Additionally, most members of the European model ensemble favor a track into North Carolina or South Carolina. There are some less likely scenarios that even take it farther west. While Florida is not currently expected to be impacted, residents should also stay alert for any unexpected changes. Similarly, members of the American model ensemble also track the system into the Carolinas, just as the Google AI model ensemble does, with most members showing landfall in South Carolina, Georgia, or North Carolina. Now, Although this is the current consensus and the reason why the southeastern United States must pay very close attention to the evolution of future tropical storm Imelda, there is still a possibility it could veer northeast. However, unlike yesterday, when that seemed the more likely scenario, projections have now shifted, and the greater probability is that the U.S. will eventually be impacted. For this reason, I ask that you continue to follow updates from the National Hurricane Center, and here I will continue monitoring both systems and keeping you informed. To make sure you don't miss this content, I invite you to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be alerted when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day. See you next time.